Hey guys, sorry if the lighting like keeps changing. The weather's a bit wonky today. It's like sunny for five minutes, dark for like another five, and sunny again. Anyways, today I'll be showing you guys what I carry to art school. Um, it's like a what's in my backpack, what's in my bag tag, except I have like three bags that I carry to art school because it helps me stay more organized for each individual class I have. So as I said, be oh look, look, the lighting is changing. Wow. So for the first bag that I'm gonna show you guys, it'll be for my light color and design class. For this class, I have two things. I have my bag and my art box, which is here. So in my bag, this is a cat bag. It has a cat and it's red and blue and it's so cute. In this bag, I have my watercolor paper block. And we use this instead of canvases for acrylic paint. And this is a homework assignment that I'm working on right now. I showed it in my last vlog. And then I have a paper palette because we paint in this class. So this is really nice to have. It's very disposable and very easy to clean up, I guess. And then I have a smaller water block. We've been doing a lot of swatches in this classroom. Swatches are like just blocks of color. So this is really nice to have. And I just tape it around. Well, this is my sketch for that one, but. And then I have all this, oops, oh shit. Well, this fell apart, but. And then I have a pile of all my swatches that I've done so far in my class. My other pieces, I keep them in my portfolio somewhere in my room, but I have a pile of swatches here because the teacher likes to have us use them occasionally. So I just keep them in the bag just in case. And then I have a cutting board so I don't kill the table when I cut stuff with my X-Acto knife. I have a sketchbook in case I need to take notes for the lectures in this class or in case I just get bored. I have a pile of pink paper for that one homework assignment over there. And here I also keep a mirror and a glossier lip balm, lip color thing. I interchange these two throughout my bags same goes for my hydro flash and my wallet and my keys and my phone obviously and this is just basically what's in my bag for my lcd studio class oh i forgot to mention but i also have a really chunky water cup to put my water in for my paints i need to get a mason jar for class because this is so chunky i use this in my dorm when i do homework a quick overview of what's in my art box i this art box I think it's a bit too small in my opinion. It was the last one in Blitz and I had to get one for the next day. But basically I decorated this with stickers. And when you open it, there are two compartments. In the first compartment, I have my knives here. I have a few pens and pencils and I have a few paint brushes and a few glue sticks. In the second compartment, I have my tape and my acrylic paints here and then i have a brush cleaner that i haven't used yet but i will get to it soon and yeah that's basically what's in here just paint and like pencils and brushes but this is really nice it's very easy to carry around and i really like it and i should probably get a bigger one because i feel like we're gonna have a lot more stuff in here so moving on to my next class it is my 3d class and for this class i carry this bag and it has another cat on it for this class i don't really carry much in my bag because it's a 3d class so everything is like in a sculpture form something like this this wire thing that i made yesterday would be carried by hand or in like another box or something because i don't want it to break in my bag in this bag i have my sketchbook for this class I, this is the most I've ever done in a sketchbook for one class because the teacher likes us to take notes and everything. So like, for example, here, here are a page of notes. Having a sketchbook in this class is very helpful too because you can sketch out everything you want to create in a 3D format. This is another page of notes for a sculpture I did. My notes for my wire sculpture and yeah. And it's in red because I love red. We're learning how to cut and shape wood in the wood shop right now. So I have a block of wood. And this block of wood was ridiculously expensive. It was $11.97. And I'm just imagining how much wood I have to buy in the future. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going broke, man. But yeah, here's a block of wood. And then here I also have 
a glossier pouch oh my god i love these glossier pouches they like i put everything in these and here i have two pliers for metal work and a few pens and pencils here for my notes oh this is something i made yesterday this is a u joint yeah that's about it i don't really have anything here and i just interchanged my id guys I'm 20 with my boyfriend. We both have these. But yeah, I interchanged my ID card and keys, my wallet, and my hydro flask, and of course my phone throughout my bags. These two cat bags are both from China, so I'm not sure where you guys can get them. But aren't they super cute? I'm more of a dog person, but like I really like cats too. It's just I'm allergic to them. But like Pratt has so many cats on campus. So moving on to my drawing class. For this class, I use a gouache tote bag that I got from LA. And this bag is covered in charcoal because that's all we do in this class. For this studio, I have a ruler here. This was actually my ruler for my LCD class, but because look at the back. It is covered in charcoal, so I'm just using it for my drawing class. And then in here, I have another sketchbook in red. And in here, I just... I don't really have anything. This is literally my first page because I was bored. Some notes on how to, how I'm gonna plan out my stuff, for example, here. And that's it. I haven't really done much in here. I have a little box with charcoal. Interesting fact, the charcoal in here was all used by my mom in like 2004 when she went to art center. So yeah, it's lasted quite a while. And I have another two bags full of charcoal supplies. They're very dirty right now. Look at this. And here I have my charcoal pencils, my Conte, my... Just a lot of charcoal. This is actually a Morphe brush bag. I just thought it would be good for my art supplies. But in here I have my kneaded eraser, my pencil sharpener. I do suggest using a knife to sharpen charcoal pencils. I find it much more helpful and easier to use. And I have another eraser, some pens, some pencils as usual, and that's about it. And here it's just all charcoal and it's all nasty and like crusty and like dirty. But you know what's extremely dirty? My bag. I was gonna switch out another bag for charcoal, but no, this is gonna be my charcoal bag. Look at how dirty this shit is. Holy shit. And for this class, I also carry my newsprint paper and board around. So they are right here. So big, so big. This is a newsprint pad for my figure drawings and everything I do in drawing class. All homework is done on drawing paper. So I leave that in my dorm. And this board is completely fucked up. This one is broken and this one is very janky. But I am a broke art student and I cannot afford to get a new one. So that's all I carry for drawing class and I also forgot to mention I have like a few textbooks for these classes but because I am very lazy and like procrastinate, I did not get the textbook on time so I have the PDF file on my phone. For my art history class and English class, all I carry around is a laptop, a sketchbook, maybe to take notes, and my phone, keys, and hydro flask. And this is because everything is mostly done online, so there's no point in bringing a bag of stuff. And yeah, I really don't like those two classes. Oh, and I also like sometimes grab a pen on my way out. So I have all my stuff in three different bags because not only is it very easy to organize it's also because i tend to wake up very late for my classes in the morning so i can just grab the bag that i set for that one class on the way out sorry if this wasn't very helpful for people not attending art school because this is mainly focused on art but yeah this is everything i have so far it's been two months of school i think almost two months but if i do have like more stuff which I probably will at the end of the year. I'll make another video like this. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.